Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm here about to start working on this boat today. It's, I believe, a 21 foot Bennington. It's a deck boat. You can see how weathered it looks. Definitely need some TLC from the uh, inside out for sure. So that's what's going on right now. See how nasty that is. Get it all cleaned up. Ugh. She's a mess. All right, so I am going to get everything out and ready to get started. First thing I'm gonna do, most likely, is to vacuum the interior out and get it washed. And then I will absolutely be working on this gel coat. I will uh, do what I normally do and basically 50-50 with the polish. I'm gonna just gonna waterless wash this thing. I'm gonna vacuum it all out and stuff. So, I'm not gonna waste a lot of time talking to you right now, but I'm gonna get started with this boat and I'll show you what's going on while I'm doing it. I'm literally gonna just throw the vacuum in the interior and vacuum it all out first. That's the plan. Got my whole setup going on. So let's get it, get this party started. All right guys, we're about to do some polishing. I did a little test spot. I did my 50-50. Now I'm really gonna start cranking on this thing. Uh, it's turning out pretty good, but I wanted to shoot some footage for you guys of me actually using a rotary polisher. You don't see a lot of videos from me anymore of me polishing, generally because of the time constraints when I'm actually doing the work, but I want to do a lot more videos, uh, not only now, today, showing you how to compound a boat, but I want to do a lot more polishing videos to show you guys just how really easy it is uh, to get tremendous, fantastic, amazing results at home with just a simple Harbor Freight dual action polisher. I'm going to show you how easy that is. So anyway, today I'm working on this, I think it's a 21 and a half foot Bennington deck boat. And like I said, I did a test spot. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit more. Let me see if I can see. Yeah, so I'm gonna put you on right now, watching me compound this thing. So I'm obviously gonna use my stuff, the uh, Marine Series Gel Coat Oxidation Eater Compounding Polish. Um, it's amazing. It cuts awesome, especially with the, uh, buff and shine wool pads I use and the rotary. This stuff cuts amazing and it finishes really nice as well uh, so that I can just compound polish in one step and then put on some bionic banana shield or in this case, I'm gonna be applying infinite force field. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to work. I like to apply a little bit to the surface. Make sure your wool pad is fluff. Thank you. 
Generally with the gel coat oxidation eater, uh, you don't need to use detail spray, or I should say the infinite use detail juice to wipe off residue, but it's not gonna hurt anything if you do. Just give it a quick wipe. But that's where we're at. I'm gonna keep cranking and I'll bring you guys back in just a few minutes when I've got more work done. All right, now I'm working on scrubbing down the interior. I got the hole all polished. I still gotta polish the top deck, but I wanna scrub everything down first. So I'm gonna get to pressure washing. Nothing fancy, just me doing work. Yep, still working. All right, turn this, it's my Briggs and Stratton P3000. I just ordered two brand new P2200s. I'm excited to get those actually. Uh, they're actually sitting at the UPS store for me to pick up now. So uh, I'll have that one for reserves and I have my other two for actually working so I just got all of the cushions all scrubbed down really well he wants to store those inside instead of letting them just sit out in the in the boat which I don't I don't blame them uh, they've got some standing on them he's not going to use them for a while um, I actually I'm pretty sure he's gonna have me come back out and detail this boat before he uses it again uh, so we're just gonna let that ride for now. I'll see if I can get more off when he decides to use it So I got the hole all polished. I still need to polish the top deck The Complete interior is all done I'm not gonna do a whole lot more than that. It looks pretty amazing compared to how it did look um, I can't clean a couple of the cubby holes out, but I uh, use some muriatic acid to get all the orange staining and stuff off of inside these little hatches and the nooks and crannies and that kind of stuff. So that's all done. It had a lot of staining inside the little gutter areas and in, inside this area and the corners and stuff. But I got all that straightened out. All I've got to do now is polish the top deck. So all the, this white section all the way around. So I'm probably, probably got inside an hour left on the deal. And then I'll bring you back and show you the finished product. So, well, I was going to show you the interior. I'll give you a quick glimpse right now. Looks pretty amazing compared to how it did look not a hundred percent but again I'm just cleaning it up so that it doesn't look real bad this is uh, Glenn's wheel polishing they actually fixed I don't know if you guys follow me on Facebook you will have seen that I hit a pothole last well about two weeks ago now I hit a pothole and uh, I was in my El Camino and well I not only bent two rims but i thought i had lost two tires in the deal but i didn't i had just put on brand new uh, bf goodwrench uh g-force comp twos g-force sport comp twos on the el camino anyway so the tires were brand new i bent the rims the rims were going to be more expensive to get them fixed than it was worth uh i couldn't find the same size wheel so i bought bigger wheels for the back of the car and i put the two smaller ones that were still good on the front so anyway, long story short, Glenn's is, they fix them. So I'm um, doing this job for them and they did a job for me. All right, this is it. I'm all done. Glenn ran and got me a beer. I'm excited. Um, I just want to say real quick, part of this detail was uh, to fix my wheels. I mean, we did a little bit of a trade um, and I want to say, I brought the wheels here because I've done business with Glenn's before, but 
I'm literally, I have goosebumps right now because they did such an amazing job. You would be hard pressed to tell where that was dented. I'll insert a picture of the before of both these wheels. They are straight as an arrow. They did an amazing job. And that's why I was here in the first place. Uh, this right here was a section where they had fixed it. They look amazing. Say hi, Glenn. Ah. <laughs> so I did just a, a random plug for your business because, I mean, bottom line, I'm shooting this section of the video. It's the final section, but I brought the wheels here because I knew you guys would do a fantastic job, but I'm more than impressed at the job that I got with those wheels. So hopefully this YouTube video will uh, bring you some biz business. All right. So you saw from the beginning, the top deck and the hull were pretty oxidized. It's not now, that's for sure. Looks good all the way around. That interior was something else, Glenn. I'm gonna hop in there real quick, shoot the last section. It is clean now, clean as it's gonna get really, but it looks amazing compared to how it did. So I showed you I put the cushions over there. He's gonna put those away so they don't get nasty, but you can see the interior looks a lot better than it did. So we are good to go. I'm going to go ahead and get out of this now. All right, so this is the uh, it's a Bennington 2105, I think. Anyway, it's been Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. If you need some detailing work done, 813-846-4406. Uh, check out detailjuice.com for all my products and check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation where we talk about only my products, my processes, what I've got going on. I am, like I said, we both got something out of the deal. Those wheels are amazing uh, compared to how they were when I brought, brought them here. So if you guys need wheel refinishing or you know, if you hit a pothole or whatever, call Glenn's Wheel Polishing in Tampa. Tell them Gary Dean sent you. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day.